and welcome back everybody and today I am back with Mix Daily Training and let's go! Today I am back with yep. Mix Hey Karma, welcome! Alright, create the game! Let's go! Let's go! Alright! Okay. Whoa, 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 six points. How did what even have so many points? Sheesh. Rainforest again, 50, 50, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Oi. 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 Don't blunder bishop like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't blunder queens like that as well. Oh. Hi Pookie 11, welcome. Uh, yeah, okay. Black one. That's way too boring. Let's watch bots. No, it's even more boring. Let's watch Brave Spirit 2006. Playing against Mxatur. Hey, boring. Boring. <laughs> I don't know. Everything is boring. Mishka the Great against Kilfero. Hey, Kilfero played against him. Okay, it's Turkish. Oh, okay, that is okay. Okay, finally I'm in the one main club. Yeah, welcome, Pookie. Welcome, welcome. Okay. How are you, everybody, doing, by the way? Hope you had a nice day. How are you? How are you doing? Do you play Bundit? No, I don't. I'm. I'm. I don't. <laughs> okay. Woo! Yeah, I mean Mishka probably. Is. I'm fine, but full the pizza was a bit too big. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Wait. Sounds tasty. <laughs> but okay. It's better than six donuts, probably. Um, let's see. Yeah, so Mishka, this one is an isolated one. Let's see if... Uh, I don't know, everything is boring today. Oh, man. Like, bots are boring, they're playing one plus one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they will just make a draw. Yeah, because black cannot go for that pawn, because that pawn will go. And white can go for that pawn, because that pawn will go. And it's just the draw. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Let's see. Yeah. So, how are you, Pookie? And how are you, Labulet? How are you doing, everybody? Threefold, finally. Finally. <gasps> Queen to what a move with that. Wow. Wow. Okay, night six. Yeah, then. A black shirt win, but time, 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 no! The white had just one point left, tired, but still before Thursday. Yeah, yeah, just just tomorrow left, guys. You can do it. You can do it, I believe in you. Just tomorrow, and then you should be... You have two very nice days. <laughs> oh, where is my opponent? What? Where is my opponent? Oh, the, the, the rook. Give rook. <coughs> Okay. Okay, I mean, ugh. yeah, white will probably get flagged. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, probably no. We need to say queen. Oh yeah, white got flag. Maybe. <gasps> wow, very close, guys. Point one six. Wow, wow, wow. That's some fancy, fancy stuff, you know. All right. Ooh, ninety five. Hello! 
I'm here. Anybody? Anybody? E6. Oui. Yeah, okay, I guess. I guess now Black should finally. Yeah, I'm mean, there. Seven seconds. They have a queen. <coughs> Unless they mess up big time, they should win. Yeah, they won. Cool. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Take the G7. Ah, take the queen. Yeah, Ultra Bullet is wild, guys. Hello! It's been like seven minutes. Okay, six minutes. Oh, and play against Pivotal Break. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> well, my 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 opener from yesterday didn't want to play again. Oh well. He really, he probably doesn't didn't like how he won against you yesterday. <laughs> okay. I already was like scared because I knew that it would be some firework of a game, but all good. Alright, I'll wait like two more minutes. If nothing, then I'll go chest 24. <gasps> wait, no, blunder me! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, be careful, don't blunder me like that, please. Uh, okay. If I would actually play against White, I would never reach his name. R6, E35, E44, E73, E6, to second 5. This opening is a bit weird. Yeah, exactly. Like he played some like the craziest chess I've seen almost in my entire career. And now he like doesn't play, so I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. No yeah, no he did <gasps> mate! Yeah, that's ultra bullet guys. It's so funny. That's why we all love ultra bullet, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. Alright. Forty seconds if I don't get an open I won't play on the chess. Turu turu tu. Well, the bot on Discord is slow. It's been like seven minutes of the stream, but people get got notified right only now. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think white should. Oh, what is thirty seven? Why? Take the rook, take the rook, take the rook, take the rook, take the bishop, take everything, take everything, take, 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 take every single piece. Psst, no, tell me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, one more game of these players. Now, nah, okay, wait. Exactly three, two, one. Okay. I waited for eight minutes, nothing. Oh well. Well, wh black has haven't even so for a second, and white has like four seconds left. Come on, white, speed up your winning! Come on! Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ooh, I mean, one second versus eleven. That's quite rough, if I don't say so myself. Well, yeah. I mean, white were a little bit too slow. Wait, where can I. Wait, read? No, no. Watch. Me won't play. Learn. Give me. I wanna play, what? Okay, wait. Am I like stupid? Yeah, wall learn tactics read not tour nothing watch guys uh, what am I where can I start a game what <laughs> guys is anybody a pro oh wait play now there okay uh ten minutes yes okay I found it I found it no no smells what did you send the link or what don't, don't please. And like, I won't get it open for another 8 minutes here. And I'll just give up probably. No wait, go to lobby. Give me the lobby. Oh. Okay. 10 minutes. Let's go. Can I please get an open end? Like, please! <laughs> I was saying that I thought they disabled playing chess 24. Yeah, true, but I saw it there. It was usually like somewhere on top, but now it's there at the right screen. But I thought, yeah, 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 don't don't worry, Moobot is weird. Welcome, by the way, to the stream. Don't worry about Moobot. Sometimes goofy. Can I get an opening? Can I get an opening? Na, 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 na. 
please. I always worry about move it. Hi, hi, to that chicken. I do now, guys. Guys, <laughs> yeah, give me an open it, please. It's been like 10 minutes. Oh man, what is this? <laughs> Help me, please. Somebody, okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Play now. Come on. All right, I'll watch the game. Oh. <gasps> we do give away cool like that. What? Hi, Panda. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh huh. I just got brutally fat. Oh man! Where's my open end? <laughs> it's been like 12 minutes already. What is this? <laughs> and I tried like two different platforms. Help me, please. Please. Ooh. Wait, let's see. I'll try to. Okay, chest 24. I'll try to make. make the, because there was usually a new lobby where you play. Like live tournaments, videos. No. I don't want to watch. Read. I don't want to read. Tour. Okay, that's this champion's tour. Wall. What's wall? Uh, okay. And uh, you can always play against me. <laughs> I tell you, it's welcome. I'll try to get an open the door, but wait. Magnus Academy. No, we no, 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 no. Okay, I don't know. Oh, yoy, yoy. Oi, yoy, yoy. No, but wait, okay, let's say, like, watch. You're too good to get an open. It. I'm not sure about that. I mean, usually, like, yesterday I got an open very quickly. But now I just don't get an open. And... Alright, let's watch. I mean, if I don't get an open in, in like, three more minutes on chess 24, I'll, 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 I'll do something else because I mean, like, 15 minute wait just to not get. Maybe on Leech the chance is still bigger to get a decent. Yeah, exactly, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll try again on Leech's. No, I'll wait this three more minutes on Lucius, if nothing, then, then, <laughs> then, then no life open today, I guess. Wait. Ah, yeah, I mean, I think White should win this. Yippee. <laughs> thirteen minutes, thirteen and a half minutes. <sighs> I still have a couple hundred points again before I can accept your challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, work on it. Just work on it. Oh, that's nasty, not gonna lie. Bam, bam. And uh, White had to promote to another night. Sheesh, why couldn't White just promote to a night immediately? I don't know. Next week, I guess. No, I think a uh, talent moose means actual rating points. Alright, guys, there is a minute left. If nothing, then no life open and for me today. <laughs> Okay, let's see. 50 seconds. Me too. <laughs> uh, 40 seconds. <laughs> I made you one! <laughs> 30 seconds. Yes. That feels just unreal, guys. Wait, like, if I open Boom Players Rapid, like, look, there's so many people online. And I mean, it goes down to 2300. Like, there should have been, like, an opening for sure. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Alright. 10, 8, 7, 6. Oh, and I got an opening. Playing some. This guy played the. Yeah, or what? I just finished the game. Okay. Playing some. Cut, 
Moet ze omkratten. Ja, ja, zeker het spel. Oké, okay, MXC Katoer. Om Xatoer, I guess. Om Xatoer. I don't know. No way he won't move. I, I quit this. I quit this. <laughs> I quit this. Oké, okay, nice telling moves. Yeah, just 200 tracing. Guys, what is going on today? Like, alright. <laughs> Alright, then, then, let's switch the plans, I'll probably solve puzzles on Chess24, play Komodo and play Blindfold, like, I have no idea what to do, like, it's been like 16 minutes, too often, and what is going on today? <laughs> okay, I think it's Queen D7, and then Knight F6, here, take, and this, yeah, that was quite simple, puzzle rush tactic, um, wait, isn't it just like, Rook H6? Hey guys, what? <laughs> Do you have any idea what happened today? Like, that was for real, like, the first time that ever happened. 15 minute wait on two sides? Not a single opponent on both sides. That was like... I mean, I got two opponents, but then they were just scared, you know? <laughs> wait, how do I solve this? Because if I go Rook here, yes, Rook C7, King F8 or something, yes, Rook C8 and King of 6 Rook 7 King G5, Rook G7 and King of 6 I don't take the row. Oh my god, that was quite crazy, if I don't, if I do say so myself. It's like, never ever happened to me before. <laughs> like, why do people ex de decline my challenges? Like, why? Oh, well, wait, it's Knight C3 probably. That's a really nasty move, and G3, and guys, look at that! Look at this! That's like absolutely insane. 93 with idea of 92. And if he takes this, this, and I just made him. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, let's see. Yes, do you have any ideas what is the correct move? I'm not sure. Too allergic. How many percent? Guys, 69 percent. Nice. That's that's quite nice. I mean, we are very close. Like even less than two thirds. No, even less than one third left. So guys, good job. Good job. Good, good, good job. Wait, but queen of five, queen e two. Queen b1, king g2. Guys, do you have any ideas what is correct in this puzzle? I think I do. So it's, nah, I'm not sure. I mean, queen of 5 is pretty sure, yeah. I think queen b1. No, it wasn't queen b1. What was it? Hi, Johnny, you're welcome. Uh, ah, 98 with the uh, 93. That was a really nice move. So if queen is 3d1 and f takes c, or this, this, and queen d2, queen d4. Nice, welcome Jun So everybody, how was your day today? How are you doing? What's up? What's up everybody? How was your day? I mean it's Thursday. That is quite amazing news, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> I think it is like awesome news. Okay, I think I just do this and then take and queen of 293 and this I do this and then I do that. That's and then that's a dub. Alright. Let's see. oh I had this puzzle like five times already. I mean, I, I know I like it, but it's just like a bit annoying. Okay, I think Rook of 8 is the first move, and Min have no idea now. Uh, hmm. Ship G5? Nee, it was like Rook of 1. Why am I getting What? No, I don't. I, 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 no. I accidentally reported someone. No. What was this? I tried to... Why do I go... Okay. Something is definitely very f interesting today, guys. Like, why? Why? Okay, now it works. Like, I accidentally report someone just 24. Please don't ban him. That was like a pure accident. I was trying to solve the... Guys, something... I feel something is odd today. Like, what is going on? I didn't get an open in 15 minutes. Now, I accidentally... Yeah, okay. Something is definitely in the air, guys. Okay, let's see what's up here. Mm. No 
don't tell me. No, it's okay. I think I hands a bit. Yeah. Um, let's see, guys. Do you have any ideas what is the move here? Which should be five is interesting, but then after queen e3, I'm not sure. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? I actually really don't know. It should be five is interesting, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I see a fourth draw, but it should be five, queen is three, queen d5, knight d5, knight of seven. I'm not sure. I mean, I see a fourth draw, let's see. His idea is e3. And I'll go for a force. Should I take? Wait, I'm not sure, guys. What do you think? Should I play queen d5 and make a force draw? Or should I try like. Oh no, wait, queen d4 just win, right? Yeah, no, no. Okay. No! Yet queen of fate! What am I doing? It was rook of fate. Or there was just bishop g7 and queen d5 for rook of fate. Okay, oh my god. Okay. Okay, here it's knight c6, queen e6, and mate. Okay. Okay, so right now I'm down an exchange. Hmm. Guys, what do you think? Oh, no yeah no yeah guys I think I see the move what do you think it is what do you think I think I'm pre I'm like 99.999% sure it's the correct move do you have any ideas what can it be let me know I think I see it what do you think though this, 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 yeah. No clue at all. Welcome, Lorgan. Uh, Alright, do you want me to show the move which I think is correct or no? Or do you want to think more, guys? Yeah, I think I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's correct. Nice. Any idea? All right, I'll show it. Bishop f1. Now rook f2. King h1. I go bishop g2. This I go rook e2. Win bishop f3. And I win. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Karma. Good job. So bishop f1. Queen h5. This, this. Uh, need forty k points for the thematical tournament. Yeah, nice, Johnny D. Nice, nice. Yeah, so, and if you would go king g1, I have rook f5, king h2, king h1, rook h5, mate. So you have to do this, and I just win a queen. Good job, Karmar. Nice. Uh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see. Hmm. <gasps> yeah, I think so. Wait. No, what was it? It was knight eight. Oh, knight eight six mate in three. Oh, I thought queen g six knight eight six. I have something, but I guess I don't. Oh no. Wait, here is knight g five. Oh wait. Ah, uh, or do I play? Oh wait, guys, do I play knight g five or do I play rook h five? You may say like, what rook h five for what idea? If g h queen a five, and if he takes my queen, knight g five rook h six. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nasty. It's quite cool. Uh, let's see what's here. Hmm. Another interesting puzzle. Hmm. I'm thinking about like nine C four and then ninety six. Trying, and yeah, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, 
yeah, I, I'm sure you'll do it. It's, it's been like, what, nine days? And you are like on 70% now. So good job, guys. You will definitely do it. You will do it like in 12 days, actually. Let's see, 94 is an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure, 94 if he t takes and then queen b5, and then d6. But what if he castles? Oh, I'm not sure. Or I'm looking at something wrong. Or, I don't know. Oh, 97, knight b5, rook a8. Wow, that's nasty. So yeah, 97 is forced to take. Now this, he has to move. If he takes rook a1, 87 is check. And this is his. Oh, that was cool. It's really, really cool. Okay, now I think it may be bishop e7, rook e8, rook e4, the queen is trapped, and then rook e7, like, rook e5, I think I should, just, I just should be winning. Yeah, I don't see why not. Ah, bishop b4. Yeah, so I have a queen, um, queen for rook instead of queen for rook and bishop. Yeah, so this takes, takes, and if he takes, his rook falls. That was a nice puzzle. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, let's see. Bishop e6, what does he do? He has rook c6 there, but then bishop d7, his rook is trapped. Oh, or d4, now nah, bishop d7. Yeah, okay, that was like super, super simple puzzle, to be fair. And let's see what's here. I love semantics, can play my own openings, right? So what could be better than open? I don't know. How do you contribute? Um, I think you contribute, so you open these rewards right here, and then you go here, and then like, there will be the button so you click on the okay points then there will be this race 71 percent shish and then this and then you click on to contribute you can contribute max 2k per day so yeah you are close guys oops now i think it is uh queen d5 yeah or maybe not actually hmm. ah that's interesting h5 though yeah h5 queen c8 and then take and then i take like what rook like i don't know a7 and like more <laughs> we both work though yay i got plus zero so i sold 10 correctly for failed and i got zero in total uh i have a feeling you just demonstrated visually didn't you what do you mean? Uh, so basically, queen h5, queen c8, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. winning. If you go queen g7, well, we don't talk about that. And you take d takes c, uh, then I just take and then take any rook, yeah, then, yeah, nice. Alright, so now let's play Komodo. I won't do any bets, to be honest, uh, any predictions, pardon me. I'm just gonna play because I don't want any pressure. Uh, you can just click. Uh, yeah, let's play the elephant gambit, but Johnny d for white or for black? Yeah, exactly, Karma, nice explanation. Okay, I was playing Swain to Komodo. Mm, mm, mm. I'll play E5, I've never actually played it. Let's try. Can you please go for Berlin? You is black. Okay. Interesting. Okay, wow, he actually goes for Berlin. <laughs> no way! No way! Please take it at this. Let me demonstrate my variation. No, it's a Berlin Endgame, guys! It's the Berlin Endgame! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, that's gonna be actually kind of fun. <laughs> Me playing against Komodo is a Berlin Endgame. Fun. What do you think, h5? I don't know. Or we should be 7. So let's, let's be safe. This G four oi. So I guess I have to do this. Uh oh. Uh oh, is my knight stuck? Oh yo yo no my knight is stuck. <clears throat> um Okay, let's play rook d eight, I guess. <coughs> Takes I don't know, like, bishop d8. Oof. 
Okay, that's that's quite terrible position to be honest. Uh, not the best position I like. Okay, six. Oh god. I didn't know Burning in the game can be that cruel. Oh, he starts to just. Yeah. Okay, guys. I think I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look too promising. Then I guess I'll go like Bishop E7. Oh no. Oh wow. C5. Yeah, Burning in the game is actually like really dangerous. You misplayed. <coughs> okay, b6. Uh, can I just get your knight, please, for my bishop? Okay, he wants to get his second knight there. Uh, okay, what if I play bishop h4 in this then? Uh, <coughs> I don't know. 27, 24? What do you mean, Jax? Ah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I was like 27.50 last title Tuesday, I played terribly and then I lowered it. Yo, yo, I man, welcome, how are you? How are you doing? I'm str if you ask me, <laughs> I'm struggling in the Berlin Endgame. I messed it up and like, I'm worse. <laughs> I'm worse. Uh, wait, what's uh, Feeder Master? I'm Feeder Master. I don't know, that's like terrible position. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm searching jacks. I mean, I'm struggling in Berlin Endgame. <laughs> so, I, I, I cannot say I'm doing super well. <laughs> I can't say I'm doing particularly well, to be honest. It's actually really rough. Like, oh, wow. I think I may get mated or something here. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, I'll play knight g8. <coughs> I just don't have moves. I I somehow managed to trap my own knight. Okay, I'll try like g6. Like this, this, hopefully. Oh, no, he has g5. Okay, guys, I'm lost. That's my end goal. <laughs> nice. Good luck. Good luck, Jax. Good luck. Yeah, now I'll probably play like knight f6. Okay, that's good that I didn't make a... Yeah, and without Norse. No, without Norse. Did you try your variation? He didn't go for my variation, even for the end game. That's the problem. Otherwise, I would smash him in my variation. But he, 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 he already heard way too many good things about my variation. He was way too scared to try it. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, t t just 23. For Finder and Master, you need like 2300 rating and no norms. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, my, 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 my pieces cannot move, like, literally. He'll play bishop, he just plays h4, that's ggs. <laughs> okay, I'll play h4, rook h5, rook h5, I'll try. I'll try. I'll play king g4, you will put a block, though. Oh, no. Are you playing receivers now? Today I'm playing, I'm doing my mixed daily training, so... I, yeah, usually in daily training I solve puzzles, play against computer and play uh, against live opponent, but today I waited for 15 minutes and I didn't get a single opponent. So that's why I'm going to play two computers. Yeah, play king f4. I mean, I'm not sure I cannot say my position is terrible. I just have to move my rook and hope, I guess. Oh, well, that's lost. Yeah, it, it was terrible. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just lost. Uh, and then if I move my rook, e7 is there. So I take, and then yes, king e5, and that's game over. Okay, that was like the worst game I've played by far. Okay. That was quite bad. Well, not... Yeah, I mean, I'll try to push, I guess. Mm. Okay, can you play f7, rook d8? No. Now he'll play, though. Okay. I lost game Grandmaster Rook G8 mate. Oh wow. I mean I played really badly. I just trapped my own knight and like that's how I lost basically. If I wouldn't I would be quite chilling. How do I play though? After Bishop G5 I wasn't wait, should I play H5 first? Yeah, I just didn't get the H5 and then he got G4. I probably should have played H5. I actually like wanted but then last night to play A5. Okay, Bishop E7, Bishop G5, then here I should have played H5, I guess. No, take h6, bishop e6, okay. Yeah, my knight just got stuck on h6, and then it was, like, really bad. Like, yeah, now knight c5 is the idea. Okay. Let's see. 
72 accuracy. Okay. Okay, let's start the review. Yeah, okay, so knight 3. I just had to, yeah, or h5. Bishop is was like, yeah, I just had to play a take. Okay, or h5 for take or anything. Yeah, guys, that was not the best game, was it? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so to go h6, I guess. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, it's it. Bishop g5 was the best move. Now it says it's not. Uh, you open it, but now probably to go like knight g8. I guess. Yeah. Why? Why do you kick me? I'm just trying to analyze the game. No. Okay, this. Bishop d7, another mistake. Probably like should have played knight g8 or like. I don't know. Um. You know. Game review is currently not working. What do you mean? Just come. Uh, okay. Should I play like king d7? I don't know, like, knight g8 was like the only reasonable move in my opinion. Okay, bishop, okay, bishop c8. Yeah, exactly, so I protect the pawn, right? Because I just ended up wasting like another tempo. Should I play like what? This move hurts your chances. That's a helpful hint. That's a very helpful hint, guys. I don't know, like, bishop c8. Oh, give me a reason working. Why? Yeah, knight g. Oh my god, that's really annoying. Like, game review doesn't work, even though it works. Yeah, and then, okay, I actually got like all right position, and then taken was a terrible mistake. I go for g5, and I got like. Okay, I played on 2400 ELO by Chesscom. That's really bad. Okay, Komodo played 2750. Alright, guys, let's go. I'm gonna win this game, though. Let's uh, go. Okay, knight of 3. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I will. I'll try. Okay, d4, c4, e3, I'll go probably that, no, okay, if this, I'll go c3, e3, this, bishop d3, e6, I think castle is good, okay, say, no, I mean, I can, hmm, I can take, take, and then play queen c2, or I'll probably just take the pawn. I didn't like his queen on d5. <clears throat> okay, let's play h3, so like knight g4 or something. Uh, knight c3. <clears throat> okay, now let's play rook e1 with this idea. Come on, you won't fall for that. Oh, b5, that's an interesting move. Wow. Alright, I'll play bishop f1 with the idea of e4 or a4. And he plays knight e4, okay, that's interesting. Uh, Alright, I'll play a4, if he takes a take and then this pawn may fall. Oh, but he plays that, that's a really nice move, actually, wow. <coughs> Quite cool. Well, wow. So maybe I should take and like, bishop d2 or something? Or maybe take, take here, bishop moves this, this, this. Yeah, I think I should take and then play knight d2. And knight b3, so I can later take. Please, bishop d5, then this. Let's try that. I'm not sure. It looks quite alright, though. <coughs> yeah, bishop b4, exactly. That's what I wasn't sure about. Knight b3. Hmm. Knight b3, queen b6, a b, a b. Yeah, I think it's alright. a b and then bishop d2. <coughs> yes, a takes b. If he takes, I take, and then I take. And now I play bishop d2, <coughs> and then if he takes it, he doesn't, though still b5 is somewhat a weakness. Maybe in some variations it would be a bigger weakness, but it's still quite a big weakness now. <coughs> okay, let's see. Queen e2 is an interesting move idea to why he's weak. Yeah, I think I'll play queen e2, I'm not sure. Looks nice. Yeah, now what if I take twice? So take, 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 take. Hi, uh, you're very cool, very cool, well, thank you so much, Ultima Ratio, welcome, welcome and thank you so much, <laughs> so let's see, if I take, I take, he takes, I take, he takes, uh, I take, he takes, I take, he takes, <gasps> then it's like an opposite color bishop endgame, <clears throat> let's see, what else can I try, I can play like rook a5, 
Hmm. Rook a5 is interesting to be honest. Knight c7, like rook c1, knight c5, I guess. I mean, that's an interesting idea, and I'm gonna lie. But I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Like rook a5, what if it just goes bishop c6 and rook a1? Hmm. Guys, do you want me to go for queen b5 and then try to play that endgame, or do you want me to play rook a5 and play that middle with this middle game? <coughs> what do you think, guys? What do you want to see? Yes, what do you think? Queen b5 or rook a5? <coughs> queen b5. Okay, guys. Endgame. Okay, do you want. Anybody else? Do you want me to play queen b5 or rook a5? Please, rook a5. Uh, my leech is this round, so you would... <laughs> no, don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. Not sure, rook a5? Yeah, exactly. Because, like, I mean, if I really want to draw, I can go queen b5. I will not risk losing, probably. But rook a5 is more of, like, an interesting move trying to win. Guess. Play the better move. Yeah, I, I think rook a5... Okay, I switch. Okay, let's play rook a5. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> and okay, now he does the. Okay, so then I think I'm winning a pawn, right? After all of that trades. Oh, yes, this, but then bishop a4 should be. Oh, we didn't mess up. Oh, man. No, don't tell me I messed up. Take, 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 take. And then he has knight c7, I have to go bishop a4, and then he has rook b8. I guess we go for content, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this, 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 hmm, I mean, if you take b3 and bishop a6, I'd be a pawn up, that's cool, but yes, knight c7, I take in my knight and my bishop, and up to knight, bishop b4, yes, rook b8, and I have to get the pawn, so maybe this should have went for the end game, but I'm not sure. <coughs> I mean, I, I can play some other move, like, well, why, who is stopping me from playing rook a, from playing rook a1, actually, and take, I take, and knight b4, I go like knight c5. Yeah, let's try that. That looks like... I mean, it looks goofy, but it looks fun at the same time. So let's try it. Yeah, it goes knight before, exactly. So if I play knight c5, we'll probably... I don't know what to play, actually. To be fair, knight c5 looks just like a way to go. <coughs> yeah, let's try it. If we'll trade, take, take, it should be... Oh, bishop c4. Ah, oh, that's a nice move. Um, uh-huh. That's a really interesting move, actually. Well... It is that. Okay, I see. Queen d1 shouldn't be bad. <coughs> so his knight is still hanging. Yeah, takes. Uh, hmm, I can take, but no, I think I'll take. He takes. I uh, take, he takes. I can go like rook a7, I should be alright. But what? If I play rook c1, he has to go like queen e4 or queen h4. Queen e4, f3, queen h4, bishop e1. Queen e7 is there. Hmm. I'm not sure. This is this, this is this. What else do I have? I mean, I have some like rook c1. Oh, wait, rook c1 is actually interesting. It's the idea of rook c4. Oh, wait, he, just, he can just go, go probably like queen e7. What do you mean queen e4? What do you mean Dr. Zweishan's Um. Yeah, I mean, that's... Mm, that's interesting, but then he has queen e7, and I think he should be just fine. Like, just fine. I mean, I can play rook e7 by my show. Wait, let's see. <coughs> uh, yeah, I think I probably should just take bishop c4 and then try to win b5 weakness, maybe? I don't know. What else do I have? Because, like, yeah, take, take, he has queen, e4, he has queen h4. And like I play G3, he just says queen e7, he should be quite alright. I can't trade, like, try just taking a7. So maybe I should just take and then take a7. And if he goes like rook fd8, I have queen f3. If like rook bd8, oh, I'm completely blind. No, don't worry, it's okay. Um, yeah, rook bd8 is unpleasant. Like rook c1, he just says queen d3, I cannot take b4. Ooh, blah, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I think I will just probably do something like this and then take a7. Alright. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't know what else. Okay, b3. <coughs> and then, like, take this and take that. Okay, that. Huh. 
All right, so or I can take now and have these rooks doubled up. Or I can play rook a c1 and after queen e7 then take, so I have my rook and on a file and on c file. That looks more like it, I think. But if you play rook bd, then I can just probably rook d7 or something, not queen c2. Yeah, I think I'm going to play rook c1 and then take. Or this, but that doesn't change anything. If he takes, I just take with my rook. <coughs> yeah, now I take a7. Yeah, rook bd8, exactly. And I was thinking like queen c2, rook d2, queen c3 or something. It should be just fine, I think. And rook c8 I just take as well. Yeah, this and now queen c3. Oh, queen c3, rook d1. Oh, man, that's nasty stuff. Ah. It's nasty. <laughs> queen c3. But though, wait, rook d1, king h2, queen d6, g3. What if I, though, wait, wait a sec. What if I play queen c5? And then if he goes for this rook d1, I go king h2. And if he takes f queen of 8, that's made. Wait a second, maybe I'm just winning a pawn. Let me calculate deeper. This is king h2. The rook and his queen hangs. If he takes queen c5, then I have rook c5, it should be okay. Yeah, I think I'm actually going for queen c5. And I think if I didn't miscalculate, it should just be fine. Though he has queen h4 there. Let's check that as well. Queen h4. Then I guess I can just play like rook f1 or something. <laughs> or g3, actually. I'm not sure. <coughs> Yeah, because why I cannot take? Because he has rook d8 at the end. That's an issue, guys. Uh, g3, queen of 6 but I mean, I can just or play e4, like rook of 1. Yeah, rook of 1 should just be alright. So let's do this. I'm waiting, queen h4. Yeah, he does go for it. Yeah, I cannot take queen b5 now because of queen of 2. I mean, it's a stupid move, but maybe actually king h1 works. Why well, cannot take queen of 8? You may ask because take, take, and then you stroke it, and it's good. And why do I want to play g3? Because queen of 6, and I just like weakened my pawn structure. So I'll play rook to f1. He'll probably play like rook d5. Yes, he does. Um, I don't know, queen c6. Yeah, with the idea of rook a8. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, my pawn ends. Maybe I'll just go back. No, but then, that's actually, uh-huh, yeah, rook, then rook d2, and I don't have this queen ideas, hmm, interesting, <laughs> okay, let's see, I mean, I can't play, no, rook c1 doesn't do anything, I guess I'll probably play, like, rook, rook b1, yes, this, though, hmm, hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure about rook a8, rook a8, queen b3, rook c8, king of 8, uh, queen c8, king e7, queen c7, king f6, queen f4, this. I mean, I guess I should have some sort of a perpetual there. So let's try rook a8, I guess. <coughs> Hopefully I'm not, like, lost there. Okay, place rook d8. Then it should be just good. Because I just take and play, like, queen c2, rook c1. And I doesn't have rook d2 because I made him. And then, like, rook c1, queen c3, it should be just fine. He yeah, does this, and I'll play rook c1. Idea, queen c5, get that pawn. <clears throat> okay, let's let's be careful. I mean, I think I can just play b for queen c5 and that pawn will never fall. Alright, yeah, queen c5, take, take. Okay, this, let's play queen c7 if take, take, and then probably he'll just repeat. Yes, he does. I have e4, then queen d4, so I think, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the draw. I don't know how I'm going to win it. No, he plays queen d2. He's a fine with a draw, guys, actually. That's interesting. What if we play queen c3? I think that's a nice move. I guess I don't know how do I win, to be honest. So let's play queen c3. Yeah, queen d5, queen c5. Wait, that's... Isn't this a default mode? Oh, he had queen on d6. Ah, okay, queen c3. And I probably will play queen d5. And that's a threefold. Okay, that was quite an interesting game, actually. What do you think, guys? Did you like the game? I think it was quite clean as well, <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully there wasn't some missed to wins or something, I'm not sure. It was this complex moment where I took... Uh, yeah, GG, thank you. Where I took bishop c4, there was complex moment. Maybe I just had to go like queen g4. I'm not sure. Queen g... Oh, maybe actually queen g4 just won the game. But probably not. It's like h5, queen c4, he has queen c4. Bishop c4, bc, yeah, it should have been alright, I guess. It was an interesting game, I liked it. I really did. Let's see. <coughs> <coughs>
80? Oh yeah, okay, I was like better whole game. Yeah, I was plus 4 here. Oh no. I go queen h5. Oh, and an ID7. Oh, I just didn't see an ID7. Oh man. And I was just waiting. This is? I was a mistake and it would bishop c. Yeah, exactly. And then it would be just a pawn up. Mm. And this, it was drawn, but then it actually set before queen d. I mean, okay, that, that was nothing. Okay, so I was actually like plus 4. Wow. What was better here? Like rook c5, I guess I should have tried? Yeah, okay, r, and this, this nothing is super scary. Should we still be holdable, but okay. Okay, so 86, accuracy for me, 85.8 for him, 0 brain, no switch of us, 2 great moves. And Animus gifted the tier ones after showing me the speed. Thank you so much, Animus. So yeah, 0 brain, no switch of us, 2 great moves for me, 1 for him, 15 person for me, 13 for him, 4 excellent for me, 8 for him, 7 good move for me, 6 for him, 5 good moves for me, 4 for him, 5 next for each of us, 2 6 for me, 5 for him, 4 miss for me, 1 for him, 0 lunch. Okay, so I cannot say like it was a terrible game. I cannot, yeah, I cannot say it was like really terrible because it wasn't, I mean, I, was, I didn't lose and it was the worst, like, whole game. But it wasn't good that I didn't win it because I was better. A piece will win the tempo and a queen. Bishop d2, okay. I'm ah, bishop before I just take and I'm a pawn up, makes sense. Okay, that was a great move. That was another great move. This, 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 this. Okay, I had to play, yeah, bishop c4 and I would just win a pawn up to d takes c, makes sense. Uh, okay, I had, to, I had to play rook c1. Uh-huh, okay, I had to play rook c1 and like rook a7. And then here, yeah, I, took, I had rook c5 and I would be better because I would win the b5 pawn, but this and we just repeated. But good thing we played like on 2850 ELO. So it was like a good game actually. It wasn't like the best game, but it was quite clean. I mean, 2850 ELO is quite nice. <laughs> Alright, blindfold chess, yes. Uh, let's do this, then let's do that. Then let's do this, and then let's do that, and then let's play. I'm playing against Commodore. Oh, Commodore Stockfish level 7. Yeah, I didn't get the life opener. Let's play against Stockfish then. It's, yeah, I'm playing against two computers. Guess why not? Oh, 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 he goes for Kid. Interesting. Or is he gonna play Grunfeld? Yeah, he goes Grunfeld. Okay, Bishop g5. <coughs> I actually don't mind, to be honest. If you ask me, I don't mind. I'll take knight of 3 3 and get the b4 running. Should be good. I'm about to take this. Well, that's... That's... <laughs> that's... Um, mm, that's... That's not nice. Okay, I think queen b3 trading queens is a nice idea, actually. Queen f5... <coughs> hmm. I mean, e3 shouldn't be bad, I guess. Like, my idea is just to play bishop e2 in castle. Knight c6, bishop b5 maybe is interesting as well, but I think bishop, I'll play bishop e2, and just castle, and then chill. <coughs> maybe bishop f4 is a cool move as well. Yeah, he does that, I thought he would play. Wait, I have queen b5, and then if he takes, I take c6, I have like bishop e2. See, I'll straight the queens. <coughs> maybe he'll play like bishop d7 though. Yeah, I guess so. No, he takes. Okay, now he can play or bishop d7 or knight c6 or pawn c6. Knight c6 probably loses. Okay, he plays bishop d7. Alright, I'll take. And I'll probably play like I'm not sure king e2. I don't really want to castle, to be honest, you know. Don't really want to. Yeah, I think king e2 because it's already like endgame position. And king is very good in endgame while it's active. So let's try to keep my king active, you know. Okay, h5. Five. Oh wait, he's actually what wait, I need to be careful. Because now if he plays f6 example, this 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 my bishop is trapped, so you have to play or h4. Yeah, I think I'll actually play h4. I mean h3 was another option, but h4 is a nice move. I think it takes quite some space. Um alright, this <coughs> here let's play uh maybe knight d2. Yeah, my bishop should be fine there. Let's play knight d2, I'm not sure about that. When is first yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so, Karma. Pretty sure he is. King d2. Wait, e5 is there. Oh man. Okay, please this. Then let me just get my bishop back. <laughs> like nothing has ever happened to my bishop. Uh, bishop f4. Maybe it wasn't the best move though. I'm not sure. Okay, b6. Let's play rook hd1. And e5 take king e2 or something like that. <coughs> Oh wow, king c6. Okay, let's play c4. Let's try to play like d5 or something. 
Okay, I place e5 now. I think I have to take. Yeah, but my um, Sokovich want to win King of the Hill game, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'll take twice and like King c3. Oh wow, he doesn't. Okay, King c3 anyways. And like Rook d4, Rook d1, double up on d5. That should be quite okay position. I'm pretty hoping. <laughs> oh, he took with the Rook. Sheesh! <laughs> Actually, took with the rook. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Wow. Okay, I mean, now he has to take. Uh, rook d8, I guess. Yeah, then let's play king c3. But I still am relatively sure that, like, I can just play, like, rook c1, and it should be quite okay. It goes rook e7, I have rook d1. And that I just repeat. Okay, king d7. I don't know, like, rook c1. It's probably going like king e6 and stuff. Okay, this. Uh, I don't know, rook d1 king here. Or this rook d5. Hmm. Maybe rook d5 is a great move, actually. And then, like, king d4. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Wow, wow, wow. Because, like, king b3 is like. Like putting the king out of yeah, I'll actually play rook d5. I think I'm like quite sure the pawn endgame should be okay. He actually goes for it. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not sure. Like it should be okay in the pawn endgame, but I just am scared to go for it. Probably like move like a4 should be okay though. Or I can take. Rook, no, I think I have to play, if I want to go. Should be draw. Yeah, hopefully. Um, so if a4 rook d5 take, that's like 99%, I'm pretty sure it's a draw. If c6, yeah, I think let's play a4, I think it should be okay. <coughs> I'm surprised he didn't play king e6. Okay, he goes f5, f5, interesting. So, what, I'm not sure, should I just maybe take and go like, if king d6 go f4, king, ah, then king c5. But then I still have like king b6, but then he has b5. Ooh, ooh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Wait, so f4, but yeah, I'm not sure. Take, take, but if king d4 is this, 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 hmm. Ow! Somehow, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Somehow, like, like, did this to myself, and then, like, I didn't even do it with my fingers, that was painful. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, like, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> it wasn't that important, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. I'm not sure, I mean, king d4 is a, an okay move, if c6, I think I take, take this, this, that should be fine. So I think, and this, king e6, I mean, I should, probably should, can play like this, yeah, let's play king d4. <coughs> Time is going on. I'm quite long. I mean, I still have six minutes. Yeah, this, and now I'm actually not sure. Probably like F. Oh, wait a second. I have to be careful. This idea is uh, is what is uh, pawn c6. So maybe I just play like king c3 and rook e4. I go rook d4. I don't know. Okay, c6. <coughs> Uh, I don't know, rook d4, I guess, or rook d1, rook d1, rook b1 is, yeah, let's play rook d1, rook b1, if you play c5, then it's not worse, yeah, okay, play c5, which it shouldn't be worse, now, uh, 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 let's play rook d5, maybe, yeah, if rook d6, then I just take a 4, this, I thought g3, it should be okay, and now I go, like, I don't know, king d3, and if rook d6 I take a 4 that's a draw, I don't know how else he will play. Okay, please skin. Okay, then I think it is a draw, guys. Uh, rook e4, king e6, but okay, king d3, or he plays this, or rook e5, or, or threefold. Yes! Okay, that was a great game, actually. I love that. I mean, maybe computer will say it was terrible, but I, I like that. What do you think, guys? I think it was like very smooth. Ooh, that was nice. Nice, yeah, that was crazy cool. I mean, yeah, maybe I was slightly better, like 0.6, but how do I win it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I should have done this, rookie 4, like f3, but I'm not the one who wants to risk against Commander, uh, Stockfish, sorry. 
Okay, so I played two one nil. Wait, I was plus one here. Ah, I had like rook d1 or queen a3. Mm -hmm. Queen a3 and frame nothing. Alright, guys, so what do you want me to do now? Yeah, queen a3, I'm starting mid and you just like wasted time. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to watch Magnus games or do you want me to ask you a question? What do you think? You want me to watch Magnus games or ask me or ask you, me ask you a question, like an idea, like oh my god, like I I have an idea, and I'll ask you it, and then what do you think? Idea or Magnus games? What do you want? Yeah, but in game against Stockfish, in endgame that was smooth. I mean, yeah, I was a little bit worried. Rookie 5 was a nasty move, to be honest. That was very nasty. So guys, what do you want? The idea or Magnus games? Hello? <laughs> Hello? idea all right the idea all right all right all right idea all right so to reveal the idea what do you think if we like already choose an opening for the thematical tournament and then we are like going to quickly discuss it so we already more or less know how to play it what do you think or do you, do you not want to choose the opening yet what do you think do you want to choose the opening for thematical tourney already or not yet? We're trying to reach like the move capital. What is why doing? <laughs> no, probably not. Would be interesting. All right. All right. So guys, yeah, do you like the idea or no? Nah? Or you don't? Do you like the idea, guys, or no? Oh, I man, with 4k contributed, 73% guys, like almost one quarter left. GG's, like big GG's. Alright, so Karma likes the idea. Guys, do you like the idea as well or no? Or you want something else? G4? I would play G4 because I'm king of 6 is here. But G4, yeah, I would play G4 for sure. G4, G5, fix that. Uh, okay, hello, everybody? Anybody? Hello, 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 hello? Yeah, sure, okay. Alright, alright, alright. So, guys, <laughs> third question. What, um, Johnny D really wants an elephant gambit. Do you want the thematical tournament be for elephant gambit or do you want something else? What is the idea? Hi, Zalmai, by the way. Welcome. Uh, the idea is like thematical, uh, the idea. Okay. Nah. So, like, there is for contribution. No? No, no elephant gambit. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so there is a thematical tournament. You are very close hitting it. And like right now, I'm like we are going to choose what is the opening, and then like we are oopsie daisy, we are going to analyze it briefly, like how to play it. What do you think? What is the elephant gambit? Okay, that's a good question, Telemus. The elephant gambit is played with black after e4. Can we agree? No stupid. Okay, guys, do you want? Uh, wait, let me do a poll real quick. Let me do a poll real quick. Um, for thematical tourney, should goofy openings count? Uh, yes and no. Okay, let's see. Alright. Yeah, basically, the elephant gambit is e4, e5, knight of 3, d5. And, like, takes takes and it's something like this so it's interesting it's funny all right so people don't want goofy openings all right what opening do you want then uh do you have any ideas this guy's so fast <laughs> oh by the way crypto hunt thank you for the follow i didn't see it thank you welcome appreciate it yeah so what opening then do you want guys why resigned? <laughs> the rookie strap oh my god the rookie strap <laughs> 
<laughs> the Rubuki strapped Kinish Pad. That was nasty. Yeah, but White had to play G4 here, right here. This is a G4 was needed. Uh, should we an opening B for one color? We want bullet opening. No, I mean like the opening. Mm, Catalan, not Catal no Catalan as well. It's very boring. <laughs> no, nothing personal, but it's very, very boring. Um, I mean, no, uh, hyper accelerated dragon. That's an interesting opening, actually. We want, uh, so should open it B for one color? No, but like, we have like, for example, an opening, right? Like E4, E5, let's say F5. No, we won't have it. And then like, you will play like one game with that, one game with that. So it will be like normal arena, but only this will be the starting position. Seems like that. You get the point? Boy. Oh no. Or do... Or maybe Karo Khan. Karo Khan is actually interesting. So, okay. Hyper Accelerated Dragon 1, Karo Khan. Anybody? Anybody has any other ideas, guys? What do you think? This Miss Mora. Mm, I mean, I'm not sure. It's actually interesting. But, I don't know. I don't really like it. It's just like very... If like some aggressive, yeah, it's actually aggressive. But for example, if black just like takes the pawn and then white is just usually a pawn down. Let's not get more, all right? No Karokan. Okay, so Kar no Karokan? Or do you mean like no Karokan we don't play it? Or do you mean like no Karokan? So we do Karokan, guys. <laughs> what do you mean, Zalman? What do you mean by no Karokan? So we don't play it or that we play it instead of accelerated dragon? Hyper accelerated, sorry. Wait, actually, what is Hyper Accelerated Dragon? So this dragon, um, it's like G6 already, or what? Yeah, Hyper, okay. The, let's read. The early G6 is a Hungarian variation. Let me see, it's Hungarian defense. Okay, signifies a Hyper Accelerated. We love, okay. So guys, hi, uh, the Hyper Accelerated Dragon, what do you think, or no? It can go to Marozzi. Do you like hyper accelerated? Oh my gosh, it's way too long. <laughs> I cannot read it. Hyper accelerated dragon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, let me do like another real quick poll. Uh, the dragon sounds interested. Um, hyper accelerated dragon. Yes. 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 No. No. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, dragon is interesting. So uh, while uh, it's actually cool, your favorite open an aggressive one. No, I mean, I don't really like dragon. I, I, never, I never played it to be honest. Let's see. Mm, my Peshkatch is black. I played actually. What? No, it's white. No, no, no. It's black. It's black. Okay. I played it last time. Whoa. How many games have? Okay. This G six. Ah, uh, last time I played it in followers, so yeah, it was quite nice to be honest. Let's see how is the poll doing. Kings Indian, Kings Indian is interesting as well. Ah, uh, but it will be way too crazy. All right, people really want accelerated. Yeah, it's actually gonna be fun. Not gonna lie. So let's let's get into analyzing at least like the basics of hyper. Accelerated dragon, nice idea, crypto, but yeah, I, I really like the hyper accelerated dragon. Okay, let's read this. Only chess. Uh, the early G6 in Sicilian signifies a hyper accelerated dragon, also called the Hungarian variation, not to be mistaken with the Hungarian defense, which appears after this, right? Bishop e7, that's the Hungarian defense. All right, so don't mistake it like that. Um, the main idea in the Hyper Accelerated Dragon HAD, nice, yeah, so we'll have Hyper Accelerated Dragon, cool, is to delay D6 in order to be able to, yeah, so you have D5 push, because when you go for, like, normal dragon, example, right, so you go, like, D6 and you go, like, G, okay, I don't know how you actually get normal dragon, but something like that, whatever, like, this, take, take, yeah, that's a normal dragon, I'm pretty sure, like, G6, like, D6, but something like that, okay? You don't. You play d6, and you have to waste one more tempo to play d5 because your pawn is already in d6. That's why d uh, in one go. Yeah, this move is a gambit, but uh, is sound and is considered mainline. The advantage of this that if white goes for the classical moves d4, c, d, d4, h6, h3, black can choose the, to prevent white from having usual setup with bishop e3, bishop e4, queen d2, and once that castle, you can also transpose back into regular dragon by playing d6. 
So like why hyper accelerated dragon is good aka hd so guys i'll call it hhd hd if there will be someone new just ask what is hd and i'll tell you uh but the issue i found with g6 kind of playing knight six yeah exactly but we'll get to that a little later so what's the advantage of hd okay yeah sure people can go for maruti of course they can but the, the thing i like about hd it is like very flexible so for example you can play like even a move bishop g7 it's a gambit line as it was already set here oopsie daisy but it is very flexible so example or you can go for like normal dragon right or you, if you don't want to you can play like i don't know like d6 and like knight f6 and you play some sort of more gambit style or you go like d5 yeah so that's actually cool it's quite nice let's see Mm. The main drawback of this variation is that having delay knight f6, well, I can play c4 before knight c3. Exactly, because if you have like normal dragon, I mean c4 is a move, but here you play knight f6, and then now white cannot play c4 because the pawn hangs, and if knight c3 there is that, that's a normal dragon. Yeah, but the issue is now white can play this, and now, yeah, now you go into main dragon, and otherwise if you play knight 6 white goes to Marathi. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Uh, the position is still equal, but black must know how to respond effectively because it is easy to suffocate in this ramp position. The main line, the main nine, 5 knight c3 or 6 knight c3 goes this, this, take, 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 take. Wait, I think it was something like this. Yeah, queen d4. Yeah, I actually, I, if I will play that, I'll play queen d4. I had a game. Mm, something, yeah, I had a game. Don't you remember? I had a game. In life, ch OTB chess. I don't remember opening it. I've been chess base. It's like goofy game, but it was fun. It was I said, my opponent played accelerated drag HAD. Let me call it like that. Uh, yeah. So basically, let's see this G6. So this bishop is three knight f6, and you basically go into like almost main dragon. So let's see. Um, I really like the game. I mean, it it wasn't like the best game I've played. Wait, why this PJ in here? See Daisy. Uh, this and that was uh, that was this game. So you're moving too fast. It is difficult to see. Yeah, I, I was just like saying the ideas. Uh, I was just reading. So yeah, basically, let me show you uh, how I like to play the H A D for white. When my opponent played g6, I played d4. Black, I mean, black can play bishop g7. Bishop g7, but then it's not so good. You White just gets a really nice position. And if my opponent took, then takes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Knight f6, okay, then I played knight c3. So, okay, I'm just developing. Knight f6 is forced. Knight c6, he, moves, he pushes my queen away. Then d6. Then I play e5. The knight is hanging, so he had to take d takes e. Knight e5, bishop g7. Um, you can take knight c6, but better move is bishop b5. Take, 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 take. And now if black just plays like rook b8, queen e7, white's better. And if bishop d7, you castle. And then white just ends up a pawn up. But the issue is black has quite active pieces. They have open, open files and they're quite nice. I have open butt, so they have quite a decent compensation. That one can be a weakness. I played rook e1, e6, bishop f4. I actually don't remember. Yeah, I think bishop f4 I played with the idea after queen f5, bishop d6, attack in the rook. He played this, I played queen b7. Ah, uh, wait, let me remember. Why didn't he take queen c2? <laughs> I don't remember. Ah, wait, I think after queen c2 I planned rook here. And this. I don't remember, like, if you'd go queen d3, I remember there was idea on knight d5. I think it would be just winning. Let me check real quick. Simple position, one of my games, too. Cool. Yeah, queen d3, knight d5, I think. Yeah, white is just better, I mean. But, wait, queen c2. This, queen f5, black is okay. So, yeah. Um, let's see. So, yeah, queen b7, my opponent played knight g4. Very aggressive move, actually. This, and I really didn't like the move he played, bishop c3. I mean... He could have just probably taken c2 pawn, but he decided to take this, and he got the pawn now. But okay, you can say, like, why don't you like it? I mean, he just got the pawn back, and he's, like, chilling, right? I mean, yeah, technically, yeah, but the issue is, 
that look at the dark squares please oopsie look at the dark squares like his skin is very 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 open so yeah he got the pawn back but at what cost he like opened the king very much then i played a really nice move h3 this this and now yeah my bishop is already here ready to attack I played rook c1 this, c4, if you move his knight like anywhere, you would have queen e7, queen f6, and mate, so for example, this, this, queen f6, and queen g7. Um, but remember, yeah, the move I missed totally was queen to b4. And I don't remember what I was thinking, but yeah, it just slipped, I mean, I was like 99% sure I'm winning, he moves the knight, I have this maneuver, and I'm winning, but yeah, he had this queen before move, and he found it. And I, was, I remember I was so, so disappointed. And like, for example, if I take takes, then I d3 is the idea with a royal fork, and as well the pawn hangs. And if I go like rook e2 or something protecting the pawn, then I d3 trade the bishop that's rook and game that's drawn. Uh, what else? So, I mean, queen d7, I just... Whoops! I just lose the pawn. And wait, if queen e6, I actually don't remember, I think he just had a move like knight b6, and the idea, yeah, this pawn is just hanging and that's not good. Um, so yeah, but, guys, look at that, I played queen c8, I mean, I was just desperate at that point, I mean, I, I, I knew I was better here, and computer agrees, um, computer really does agree, like I was plus one, c4 just, c4 was actually the best move, I played the best sequence, yeah, content, <laughs> okay, yeah, but c4 this, if I don't play the move, okay, queen e6 was possible, but then after knight b6, rook e4 is not so nice. I didn't like it during the game. But yeah, I played queen c8. I mean, I was just out of desperation. Remember, I saw for like, here he had like 17-ish minutes or something like that, like 20 minutes. And at like 30, I was up on time. But yeah, I saw like for like 15 minutes and I was like down a bit on time. Then I took, and you may ask like, well... Why, why on earth would you give away your queen for a rook in the night? Like, isn't it just like bad material? Yeah, it is. The thing was, uh, yeah. So let's say I wouldn't go for it if, yeah, I would play, I would try with queen e6. I wouldn't go for it if uh, I wouldn't have the d pawn. Like, d pawn was my only hope, to be honest. So, I think taking was a good move, actually. Oh no! Ta uh, taking was a blunder. Taking was actually a blunder. I remember that. Wait, how did. Yeah, taking was a blunder, and after that, I'm pretty sure I was winning. Like, wait, let me remember. What was it? Taking was a huge blunder. I don't remember what, but I remember, yeah, he had to play rook c2, guys, look at that. I cannot take because this, and I end up losing, and I think I have to push. No, I cannot push, what did I have to do? I remember a line, it would just be a rook endgame, and it would be totally drawn. Oh, wait, I'm still winning. No, but wait, no, yeah, what? Yeah, rook c2, ah, this, okay, and now you have a pass, and he has a big background, yeah, exactly. But now, look, okay, okay, you say, but wait, you have rook b1. And like, okay, this you have rook b8. But okay, guys, black to play and do, do find, try to find the best move for black. Keep in mind that rook b8 is a mate threat. So you cannot really move the queen. Try to find the best move for black. Let's see. Let's see how, yeah. Yes, so we'll get to that later. Today I'll like briefly analyze it. So guys, what do you think is the best move for black, you know? Queen e1. Yeah, but then after white takes, white just ends up a piece up, so I don't think it's correct. Yeah, tell me, so exactly, guys, look, rook e2. When, when, I, when I was like, okay, well, c takes d, I thought I was like, yeah, I thought I was in wars. But then when I saw I computer showed after rook c1 I was winning and he showed he had to play rook c2. First of all, that's like an absurd move. And after rook b1, you have, you have play rook e2. So like sacrifice your rook and your queen. That's like insane. If I take rook e2, he just takes my rook. 
If I go wrong before, he takes, 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 and just, just, that's just a draw. So that's how he had to draw it. My bridge after he took, took, yeah, f6, and then, yeah, so what was here? I, I mean, I knew, I spoiled everything, I knew that, okay, for example, like, I can probably most likely just force a draw, so this, 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 and then, I don't know, I play some move, and then it should probably, yeah, it's crazy, nice one, yeah, that was crazy, when I saw that, I had, like, yeah, mm. oh, no, wait, there, next move, it was this, yeah, so I play d6, and then, guys, I, pr I pretty much understood that, okay, probably, let's say, if it will be 3 on 3 or something like that, and my rook will be, uh, my rook and bishop will be versus a queen, I should probably hold. Okay, so I play d6, he cannot take because there is d7, but rook ec1, wait, 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 uh, rook c2, this, this, rook ec1, black just takes, and then there is rook e5. So black sacks the queen, and you do not have rook c8 because it's a pin. <laughs> That was like for real insane. And this is, I mean, I say rook c2 and rook e2 is a brilliancy. That was a blunder, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was like really crazy. Uh, this and then let's just say draw. And it couldn't be one another great move, like for real insane. Um, I forgot the bishop. <laughs> Yeah, and basically, so, uh, why my opponent couldn't take? Because there is d7, and wherever he moves the queen tries to stop my opponent, if rook c8, d8, I'm winning. And my opponent played queen d2, and here I was like, okay, you keep in mind, my opponent was like, around like 12 minutes, and there was, I'm pretty sure there was no time control, no, there was time control at move 40, but like, it's move 27, and we are low on time, and like, I have to do something. I wasn't sure. I was thinking actually about playing rook c here. Wait, was that? No, and then I was thinking d7. Okay, queen d7, rook c7, I win. But he has this, this, and I'm pretty sure after g3. He has queen d4. Yeah, that's how he saved it. That's how he saved it. That was another insane save. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, uh, yeah, and then if I promote, then there is that. So I was thinking like rook c8, king f7, and if he goes here, I would probably just force a draw, and king d8, bishop f6, I'm winning, but he would probably force a draw, and I would force a draw. But then, but then something, I mean, okay, I was like, okay, well, draw, I should have probably played queen e6, but then something strike, uh, like, something like, did this in my head, and look what I found, I found bishop f4, guys! I, yeah, that was a brilliant move. I really loved it. So if you played queen d5, now that actually worked. Because now, if he would take the pawn, he doesn't have this check on e1. So if he like moves the queen, I have rook c8, d7, and my bishop doesn't have any with check. And you say like, well, if what if he takes? Then I have, whoops, wait. Then I have rook here, and then d7, and like he goes queen, d, well, queen e5, I have d8, queen e1, and you say, like, well, that's perpetual, but no, I have g3. That was, like, the brilliancy which won the game for me. So I played queen d5, and now that's in ward, and I won. After queen d1, I just came to the board, he resigned. That was, like, a brilliant game, especially this bishop before. And the brilliant save for him, rook c2, I'm pretty sure rook c1 was a blunder, right? I think rook c2 was the only move. No, rook c1 was actually, yeah, rook c1 actually lost. Yeah, this d6, well, I mean, that was insane, Bishop before. Yeah, that was a really nice game. So, yeah, that was on the topic of Accelerated Dragon. Very cool game, thanks. Uh, so, yeah, that's the topic of accel Accelerated HED, okay? I'll, I'll call it the HED, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you can go for Maruti, but, like, yeah. If Black plays this, then you go Maruti, and you're just chilling. But I will probably, if there will be tournament like that, I will play this Knight C3 scene, and I'll go for that. And d6, and as I showed in the game, bishop g7. Why you don't want to take? Because then bishop g7, you're fine, but yeah, you basically have to play bishop e5, you have a better development. And then yeah, bishop g7, castle, and that was the game. So that was insane. Uh, so yeah, let's see. So that was like a very brief sin. What else? Black can play bishop g7, but and after this, this just take the pawn. But uh, to be honest, I, now, how do you beat the stone wall? Uh, what do you mean, Karlsruhe? What do you mean? 
Do you mean in the game or like stone walls, a stone wall, or oh, in, in Dutch? What do you mean? A stone wall. Yeah, so we, black can play it. But then why just have very active queen d4 and after queen trade, why just is better? Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend playing bishop d7. I mean, if you want to go for gambit kind of stuff, then sure, go ahead. But there is just a really forced line. After what? Yeah, e5, this queen trade, and then you're just worse. You're, you're very passive knight, like in the game against Commando stuff there. So, yeah, so the Dutch stone wall. That's actually another good question. Let me change of topic. Do you like really don't like playing against the stone wall, or or do you just want to know how to beat it? I mean, actually, it isn't that bad to be honest. If black just goes for this, you play knight f3, he goes like this, you go that, he goes like d5, he go knight c3, and then how do I beat it if white plays it? Oh, so if white plays it, ooh, that's yeah, that's actually gonna be really hard because if black plays it, that's really not a big of a deal. Like you do this. You play that, bishop d6, castle, castle, then there is just like bishop f4, knight this, and you're just fine. But I'm not sure how do you beat it if white actually plays it. So you play like, okay, let's say that, and white plays like c3, you play d5, this. I mean, it actually depends like what move order. Okay, let's say this, I don't like this stone wall, I'm always losing to it. Okay, so let's say e3, d5. The stone wall isn't losing, there isn't a way to beat it. Yeah, exactly. It is like very hard to beat it. Okay, let's say white plays. I mean, you should be slightly better if white plays the stone wall. Like, I, I don't know, like, is this, this? You probably just have to play like castle, castle, b6. Yeah, that is really annoying. Like, one way to get nice position, listen, is you play b6. And you play bishop a6, because like white's idea in stone will play knight e5, g4, g5, and then just smash you. But the idea is to play bishop a6, and then just trade away the bishops. And now white, I like just, just I always go uh, a6, b5, and play. Yeah, that's, that's a nice idea, I mean. But also look what I just found, actually. You play like this, so knight, uh, like d5, knight f6, e6, b7, castle, and you play b6. What if queen e2? Then I think you play a5, and then you play bishop a6. So like, he cannot stop you up to play a5. And if he castles, he cannot move the bishop away, because otherwise you take the rook. And take, take, you just should be fine. You get the knight back, and then you're just playing the game. Like c5 here, and then, and then as I meant, you play c5, knight c6, c5, b5, a5, b4, and something like that. Yeah, because queen e2, you just, you just play a5, and you should be chilling. There is this, and then you play in king side, a queen side, and good thing if when you, is when you trade the bishops, when you trade the bishops, and if I place like knight a5, example, you can actually play the yeah nice idea exactly. I've actually didn't see it much. I mean I've seen it maybe, but I didn't really think it about it. And then knight e4, knight e2, and you can take it, and you probably can play like c5, f5, and get your own stone wall if you play exactly like knight b8, c5. Get your own stone wall without the bishop. White has nothing. And if you really don't like the knight, you can just like, for example, let's play. Let's see. Let's play knight b. Let's play like I don't know knight b8, and then this c5. This you play like knight of d7, f6, and you should be fine. If you happen to use it, the king's Indian seems to blunt much of strengths. Wait, let's actually check that. So this, this, this. Like okay, I don't know how did we get it. This, this. No, how did we get it? So let's see. You play g6, c3, this, f4, this, this, then you play... Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Cask, if you're struggling, nice idea, Lorgan. You can play c5 and then this idea, like b6 or something like that, and then bishop a6. In King's Indian. Or you can play e6 and you should be fine, or you just play g6 and you will never get to your king, or even close to your king. And you play bishop a6, e6, and you should be fine. So either if you know you open spleen, yeah, you just play, or e6, this, no, knight e5, uh, bishop, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, no, this, this diagonal isn't there. But, yeah, you should, if you know, because white can make a waiting game. And, like, if you play e6, well, there is no stone wall then. But what if white, like, I don't know. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's see. Indian defense, stone wall. <laughs> There's just nothing. F4. There's just nothing here. Let's see. Yeah, so sounds like that. Yeah, King's Indian is also a really nice way. Or just depends on your play style. Or you want to get this position and you want to get like play in the center and maybe get your own stone wall. Or you just go for King's Indian and you have nothing. But the thing is, yeah. I mean, you open has to go for like stone wall very early on. Uh, or he can make a waiting game, then I would prefer like d5 unless you really want peers. If you ever play a waiting game, I, I would to be honest recommend d5. Well, you can actually play like d5 and then g6. So you can play or that or this. So this, this, this and then this, you have the same idea. You can play or g, yeah, you basically get, or you want that position with g6, d5, but the main idea is bishop b6, bishop a6, and if you play queen a2, queen a2, you have a5. Alright, let's go back to the point topic of H A P, H A D. Sorry. So G six. Yeah, White has many ways to play, but today let's just quickly run what Black can play. So yeah, White can play. Black can play Knight F six, transfer to normal dragon, and like D six, all that stuff. Black can play Bishop G seven. White can play Queen D four. Keep that in mind. If then you play Knight F six. Mm, what else? I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend playing bishop g7. If you want something gambit, gambitious, then sure, go ahead, but yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, so knight d4, bishop g7, then c4, and if you want to play hd, then you just have to know Maruti. Seems like something like Maruti, d6, this. And for now, like, the first basic ideas of hd are known for you. How did you like it, guys? Rate one to ten. You can you can say eleven. Ah, uh, yeah. So what do you think? <clears throat> what do you think? So we've already chosen an opening. HAD will be fun, I think. I'm pretty sure it will be quite cool. We'll be like and ambitious and not ambitious. And eleven. Good job, Karma. Twelve out of eleven. Eleven. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. Good job. <laughs> ten. Ah, uh, 12 out of 10. I said, like, whew, I said 10. So, guys, who do you want me to raid? It was a really fun stream. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you had fun and some entertaining at the same time. I really enjoyed it. 12. Good job, everybody. Not even 11. <laughs> Good job. Um, okay, let's see. Who do, I, who do I have to raid? Nobody, okay, nobody is streaming for whom I follow. Yeah, thank you so much, Animus, for the gifted sub to show me the speed. Appreciate it. What time in Pakistan? It's 2 a.m. right now. It's like almost 10 p.m. St. Louis, maybe. Um, anyone, anything else? Pawn Master Chess. Okay, guys, do you want me to raid St. Louis or Pawn Master Chess? Let's see here. I can rate him. Uh, it is like almost 10 p.m. now. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, eh, man. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get an opening tomorrow. I mean, today was crazy. Today, Guys, do I rate Pawn Chess Master or what? What do you think? I think so. Looks cool. Or, or St. Louis. What do you think? Guys, hello! <laughs> St. Louis upon chess master. <laughs> Adrian, how long do you train daily on chess? Well, depends. I mean, okay, like one and everything is okay. I'll, I'll rate one chess master then. So, like, uh, what? So, like, like this one and a half to two hours on stream, and like around another like three to four hours out of stream. So, like around five, six hours a day. Alright guys, so it was a lot of fun, hope you have enjoyed it, uh, if you did then yeah, join the Discord to not miss any future streams, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to inform you, I'm planning to add more ch channels, bye bye Telemus, I'm planning to add more channels, I just don't know what to add, because yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. Right now with the recent notifications, when I start streaming, a bunch of bullet chicken and information when announcement when I will stream and all that stuff and what I will stream. So guys, yeah, bye Karamar, bye everybody, bye Iman, bye Kaska, bye Lorgan, bye Telmus, bye Tubalachik, bye Johnny D, bye everybody uh, who has watched this stream. I really hope you enjoyed it and yeah, have a great rest of your day and have a great Friday and then have a great weekend. Bye Zalma11 as well. Have a great rest of your day everybody. Thank you for chilling, watching here, and yeah, hope you had fun. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.